What's going on? How y'all doing this morning? Um, my video today is going to be one of them pop musical ones, which is kind of interesting to me, though. Pairs that originally that Britney Spears' song Toxic was first offered to Janet Jackson. Now, I happen to really like this song. Um, I think that it definitely helped Britney Spears' the statue um, as far as her career. It was, it was one of them pivot songs for her. Kind of broke her out of the mold from her first two records, you know. You know, and baby one more time, oops, I did again, kind of formula. So this one had a little bit more of a, an edge, had more of a quirkiness to it. Still, I could have heard Janet Jackson doing it. I could have heard Christina Aguilera doing it. I could have probably have heard Pink or Gwen Stefani, anybody, uh, any of the female artists that were popping at the time. Uh, Mariah Carey would have done good with it. It wouldn't have been meaty enough for someone like Whitney Houston, but someone who did those quirky type of vocal runs. And catchy pop, you know, could have it, it could have you know, um, quite a few, quite a few that come to mind around that time. Thinking about it in hindsight, you know, certain type of definitely was a catchy song. It didn't really, it wasn't gonna make a break Janet Jackson's career at the time because she's already established a legendary career and impact. But for someone like Britney Spears, it was the perfect tailor-made fit. And sometimes you hear stories about how artists pass on songs. And you wonder, like, whoa, what that would have been like. But then you also got to think about where they are in their career. You know, and Britney Spears needed that song far more than Janet Jackson did. As because of where she was trying to get to her trajectory. You know. But I always thought it was a pretty catchy song. And um, I always, as a, as a music geek and someone who be following all that kind of thing, I'm always curious about when an artist pass on a song, you know, why they pass on it. You know, it's funny thing about songs. Songs have a timeless quality about them, and they stay on your mind. But is it like a movie where an actor passes, an actress passes on a role? Could that have been to make a break? But these things kind of all balance out anyway, usually, you know, unless it was one of those make or break things. But I think it went where it's supposed to go. I think Britney Spears, it was important for her doing that song. And I still think it's a great song. It was catchy as I'll get out then. And, um, but Janet Jackson didn't need to do it though. You know. Because it would have been one of many songs in her catalog. And she is pretty deep. Unco <laughs> Unlike what some people tried to say about Janet Jackson a few about a month ago. Trying to downplay her catalog and her verses. She got many, many top ones in there. She didn't have to worry about that. But anyway. That's my thoughts it takes about Palm finding out that Britney Spears' Toxic was first offered to Janet Jackson. And I think it went where it should have gone. It helped Britney out immensely. Anyway, give me your thoughts on your take. Would you like to see Janet Jackson do Toxic? Or do you think Britney Spears was the right artist to do Toxic? Give me your thoughts. You take hit the like, subscribe, and the bell, raise a new video. Wash your hands, keep your mind clear, watch out for another. And music makes the world go around. However, we do wonder what ifs. I'm out.